I'm going to take this mirror that I picked up at a yard sale this weekend and antique it or give it the antique look. And it's actually distressed. We're going to apply some Elmer's glue, give it the cracking, the appearance of it, the older look, the 1920s look. And it should be relatively simple and it's actually pretty cost effective or efficient to do. I'm going to be able to do this entire project for less than $5 just because I had some extra paint and items laying at home to use. Um, I do want to stress that I, I see quite often on Facebook and Craigslist that people are selling antique items and those items actually aren't antique, at least by my appearance. Um, according to Pamela Wiggins, she's a antique expert, anything that is not made prior to 1920 um, is actually not in fact an or is not in fact antique. So meaning that it has to be made prior to 1920 in order to, for it to fall into that category. And it's going to be quite expensive. A lot of them that I see for $80 that are just pushing it off as antique and anyway, it kind of makes me chuckle. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to redo this mirror. And we're going to put this into a part of our room that's going to be pleasing. It's going to be a lot more pleasing once it's finished versus what we have going on here with the gold. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wash. We're going to wash it down, get all the grime, any particles or anything that may be on there. Um, we're going to get that washed off. Um, I don't know if it was in a smoky home or what it was, but we're going to go ahead and give it a wash with some mild soap and water. Um, when, while I'm doing that, um, we're going to let it dry, and then we'll get right back to you. All right, now that we're, we've washed it, I've actually went ahead and applied the painter's tape to the edge of the frame just to keep the actual mirror part itself uh, clean, or clean of any paint that we're going to be putting on it. And it was pretty simple. It was a little time consuming, but it was pretty simple. So another tool that we're going to need is, of course, um, paint brushes. Um, I have my first color of paint, which we're going to be using is turquoise um, as the base coat. Um, of course, our Elmer's glue, which will be one of the last steps to it, and it'll actually give you the crackly look that we're going to be looking for with this project. So, and of course, your clean towel. Um, I went ahead and wiped it down thoroughly after I waited for it to dry. I have a few paper towels here just in case I spill. I'm kind of clumsy sometimes. So we're going to start off now that we have the tape, just taking it, and this is actually chalk paint. So um, one layer works really well. You can see that it's really nice. With this paint, there's no need to sand um, or prime with a lot of the other latex paints that there is out in the market today. Um, it requires some paint or some sanding, pardon me, and um, some priming of the surface first. So while I'm finishing this and getting the first layer down, We'll go ahead and we'll get back to you here in a few minutes. All right, well, we've let it dry, it's sat, and as you can see, it turned out amazing, way better than I expected. Uh, we could leave it at this stage if we really wanted to, if you really enjoyed this color, which I do, but I'm really excited to do the next step, and trust me, it's gonna be amazing. So, what we're gonna do next is we're going to apply Elmer's glue and what this is going to do is it's going to cause the paint to crackle once it starts to dry. Um, I literally am just going to put, squeeze a little bit onto a paintbrush and apply it wherever you are going to want um, cracks. For me, I am going to want this pretty dramatic. Um, I want large um, cracking, so um, again, it's basically wherever you want. I'm probably not going to put it every single nook and cranny. Um, but I'm definitely going to put it in different areas. And once that is done, <clears throat> um, we will go ahead and take the black chalk paint that I have um, over here to my left. We're going to go ahead and take that and then we will apply that right over the, um, the turquoise we have here. Now, I assure you, I... I know that black seems a little dramatic, but please keep in mind that once um, this dries and the cracking comes through, the colors that you're going to see is actually the turquoise. So the turquoise will shine through onto the paint.
that's what we're going to see. And then once we start um, distressing some of the corners and the spots where it's obviously worn, um, it will definitely be eye pleasing. The turquoise will then pop through and it'll be um, very nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply some more of the Elmer's glue to the rest of the um, mirror here and we'll get right back to you. All right, as you can see, I went ahead and painted a little bit. I wanted to um, have you get that effect or get an idea of what it's going to look like. Um, again, on this this part of the project, you don't have to be perfect because we are going to be distressing and to have some of the turquoise shine through, like you can see, I'm going to lift this here a little bit. You can see in the corner over here and the corners over here, I'm really just going to touch base with the paint a little bit. Um, this part again is not going to be perfect um i don't care if i see some of the turquoise because honestly i'm going to come through here in a little bit um and distress it once it dries so i'm probably just going to leave the edges a little bit um it really does give it a unique look and i love chalk paint it's um gives that matte look to a project um a little bit more of that older look and I guess I should note earlier in the in in the video is make sure that your work area is, is got something over it. As you can see, uh, definitely my little cover is not going to be reusable. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this, and then once it dries, we'll let it dry overnight, and then tomorrow we'll distress a little bit more, and we'll be able to see the final project. All right, it's day two of our project, and we're almost complete. We're just going to take. Um, the soft towel that I had said you would need in the beginning of the instructional video. And this is where um, we're going to just wipe off a little bit of the black paint uh, that we had placed on yesterday. Um, the reason we're doing this is to give it a little bit more texture. It's going to look a little bit more vintage. Um, and I really like the, the chalk paint. The chalk paint doesn't require you to, or does re doesn't require you to sand. So um, all you need is a rag, and so let's get started. So I picked a spot. You can see where the Elmer's glue really cracked the side of the frame on the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find a spot that I want to go ahead and texture a little bit, and I want a little bit more blue to show. We're simply just going to rub. I'm going to lay this down so I can apply more pressure. Um, you're just going to rub that spot until the blue shows um, you can get as much as you want so you can see the spot where I was rubbing is actually where the turquoise is now shining through you can go through and do this to any spot that you want and I can do it right here in the corner if I wanted literally just the where um, where the chalk paint was I'm just taking off the black for the turquoise to shine through um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the product I actually don't see a lot of areas where I want to take the paint off because you can tell that I wasn't super perfect about it it came out exactly how I wanted I'm, I'm very pleased so I'm gonna get my son here to help me um, pick it up because it's really large so you can get an idea of, of what it looks like once it's sitting up and it's not perfect, it looks vintage. Um, it definitely has the antique or worn um, look to it. You can see here where it's cracked, that was the Elmer's glue with the paint just over it. Looks very nice, um, pleasing. Um, definitely keep, I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down. So now that I've shown you the project, um, stay tuned for a video on how I take latex paint, the standard house paint, and turn it into chalk paint. And those are the kind of projects that take and, and do this simple little project that can turn any item, any household item, into something beautiful like this. This is definitely more appeasing than the standard gold.